Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 8 through 8.1 completely untethered on all iDevices using the latest iteration of Pangu. If you've been holding out on jailbreaking until a more simplified utility was released, this is the jailbreak for you, and happy Halloween. All right, and to start off before we begin, Pangu is now easier than ever and it functions on iOS 8.0, 8.0.1, and if you're on that dreaded firmware which is plagued by bugs, definitely update to 8.1. 8.0.2 as well as the latest public firmware as of recording this video again being iOS 8.1. And as far as devices are concerned, Pangu includes support for the iPhone 6 Plus, the iPhone 6, the iPhone 5S, iPhone 5C, iPhone 5, iPhone 4S, the iPad Air 2 and iPad Mini 3, the original iPad Air, the iPad Mini 2 with Retina display, the original iPad Mini, the fourth generation iPad, the third generation iPad, the iPad 2, and and last but not least, the fifth generation iPod Touch, which is what I'm going to be using to demonstrate with in today's tutorial. Now, with that said, I'm also going to have to mention a few things before we get started. You will need to have two things downloaded. First and foremost, we need Pangu for iOS 8.1 version 1.1. This is the latest jailbreak utility. It has been completely revised by Pangu and it's now bundled with the latest version of Cydia. So now you no longer have to SSH into your device to install Cydia. It's a much more simplified process. They've worked out a lot of the bugs. They say that they've quote, optimized the jailbreak process. It also corrects an issue that previously caused mobile Safari to crash on 64-bit devices and they corrected something that caused iMessage images and MMS messages to fail to send. And of course, now respringing is no longer required with the latest version of Substrate to get your tweaks functioning as they should. And of course, you can now set a passcode as well after the jailbreak process. So this is all some really great stuff. You will need to have iTunes downloaded as well on a Windows-based PC. So no, unfortunately, as of now, it does not support Mac OS X. They did say, however, that because they've spent a lot of time working on Pangu 1.1, they are confident in the utility and they do believe that they will focus their efforts now on creating one for Mac. However, if you do own a Mac and you're interested in jailbreaking now, you can either set up Windows on a particular using Bootcamp Assistant, or you can create a virtual machine. There are numerous tutorials online for both. And with that out of the way, there's something really important that we have to mention. If your device did update to the latest version of iOS that it's currently on, meaning you went inside of the Settings app, General, Software Update, and you performed what's known as and referred to as an over-the-air OTA software update, then you will have to restore inside of iTunes to a clean build of 8.1. Let me walk you through the steps that I recommend to actually accomplish this though. So take your device, plug it into your computer via a standard USB cable, launch iTunes, create a backup, restore to iOS 8.1, and then jailbreak using Pangu. Once you're successfully jailbroken and you have Cydia, you can go back inside of iTunes and restore from your backup to retrieve all data. And I definitely recommend following that process regardless of whether you updated through the over-the-air update option as it will ensure that Pangu will not only successfully recognize your device if it doesn't for whatever reason, but it will also ensure that you don't encounter any issues during the jailbreak process and then after it as well. So once you've restored to a clean build of iOS 8.1, remember you're not restoring your data onto your device yet. Just go through the simple on-device setup process, connect to your Wi-Fi network, and that's pretty much it. You can basically skip everything else because remember, you can retrieve all of your data and settings after the jailbreak. And if for whatever reason you have passcode and touch ID set up, if your device supports it, or find my iPhone or find my iDevice, you will need to disable both. So again, if they're turned on for you, go inside of the settings app and then go to passcode and turn it off. As you can see, because mine is off, it gives me the option to turn it on. So it's not turned on or enabled for me. You will also need to disable find my iPhone or find my iDevice. Again, if you have it turned on by going inside of settings and then iCloud, and because I'm not logged into an iCloud account, I don't even have the option, but it would be more toward the bottom. You'd have a find my iPhone feature or find my iDevice feature and just disable it. Remember, we can enable both 
both of these after the fact once we're jailbroken, but just to err on the side of caution to ensure that we don't encounter any sort of complications when using the new Pangu jailbreak utility, you will need to disable both. And really quick down below at the bottom for the version, you will notice that settings does confirm this fifth generation iPod touch is running iOS 8.1 because for the version, it does say 8.1. So with that out of the way, we can go ahead and get started now. First, plug your device into your computer via standard USB cable. And then once your device is plugged in, you're going to open up iTunes and ensure that your computer can connect to your device successfully. So over here on my iPod Touch, if I were to receive a trust prompt, then you definitely need to tap it and you need to trust the computer on your device as well as on your computer by clicking continue. And once you've confirmed that iTunes does recognize your device successfully, you can continue because from there, in theory, Pangu should bring up your device and it should recognize it. So with that said, we can close out of iTunes and open up the new Pangu Jailbreak 1.1 utility. And if you get a prompt to run it, of course, just click on run. And now I'm going to readjust the view here and we'll get started. All right, so now inside of the new Pangu Jailbreak utility, you'll notice we only have one option, which is just to jailbreak. And we also have a note down below at the bottom stating that you should back up your device just in case anything happens. And if you followed the method that I recommend and actually the only method that I certify that you can successfully jailbreak, then you should already have a backup created for your device. You'll also notice at the top, it does recognize that I have a fifth generation iPod touch with iOS 8.1 connected. And with all of this in mind, we're almost ready to start jailbreaking, just enter airplane mode. So swipe up from control center and toggle airplane mode on so that it disables all connections and you have a little airplane icon in the upper left corner of your device's screen. This is absolutely crucial and it will guarantee that your jailbreak does run smoothly. So let's go ahead and click the button that says start jailbreak. And now I'm just going to click the button that says already did because of course I already informed you guys of everything highlighted here so we can go ahead and click on the already did button so let's go ahead and do that now and it will start the jailbreak and everything should proceed I'm going to leave my device up on the screen here just so you guys can see approximately how long everything should take again though it will vary for you depending on your device so keep that in mind All right, and as you can see, it moved on from that step and now it's on to injecting the data. So let's go ahead and wait for that. And now it actually says jailbreaking and the progress bar is almost done. So at this point, guys, just leave your device connected to your computer. Definitely don't unplug it for any reason and don't interface with it, meaning don't press the power, home or volume buttons. And as you can see inside of Pangu, it now says final cleaning. So we should be toward the end of the jailbreak process here. All right, and as you can see, it does say jailbreak succeeded and it is rebooting. So that's it guys, it's extremely simple. You just have to keep in mind all of the prerequisite details that I outlined prior to the jailbreak process. They are absolutely crucial to the success of your jailbreak. And now of course it is just rebooting and I'm going to leave my device up so you guys can see what happens and how long the reboot takes. All right, and I did hear a connecting sound inside of Windows, so we should be up soon. And now iTunes has recognized the iPod Touch. It should be at the lock screen momentarily. All right, and here we go. Let's go ahead and slide to unlock. 
and swipe over and you will notice we do have Cydia in addition to the Pangu app. So we have both Cydia and Pangu on our device now. It is successfully jailbroken. I'm going to launch Cydia and it should just prepare the file system. I'm actually going to close out of Pangu and iTunes now. You can do both. And I'm also going to unplug the iPod Touch. And again, I'm just going to leave it up so you can see approximately how long it takes to prepare the file system. Although it will vary for you depending on your device. So keep that in mind. All right, and there we go. We have the Apple logo now. The device did automatically respring. Now this definitely won't take as long as a normal reboot because it's respringing instead. So it should be at the lock screen shortly. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and slide to unlock now. And I'm going to swipe over and open up Cydia and show you guys that Cydia does indeed confirm that this is a fifth generation iPod Touch on iOS 8.1, again, successfully jailbroken. So let's go ahead and refocus here really quick. All right, here we go down below at the bottom. You will notice that Cydia confirms that this is an iPod 5,1 or fifth generation iPod Touch running iOS 8.1 with Cydia 1.1.15, the latest version. Also really quick, just to show you guys, I'm going to go down to the changes section. And as you can see, I can successfully scroll through packages. And if I wanted to install something, I could just by tapping on install up in the top right hand corner of Cydia there. So you do know that this is a successfully jailbroken device again on iOS 8.1 using the all new Pangu version 1.1 utility. And of course we do have the Pangu app as well. Now someone previously asked me if they could remove Pangu. Let me just state that you don't want to remove this Pangu app because it will cause complications with your device if removed. Furthermore, inside of the new iteration of Pangu, under utility, you do have the ability to not only respring, but also to shut down and reboot your device as well as rebuild the app list. So this is actually pretty useful at this point in time and updates are now delivered strictly through Cydia. So keep that in mind and I hope this helped you guys jailbreak. It's extremely simple and if you kept everything that I mentioned in this video in mind, then you will undoubtedly be able to jailbreak iOS 8 through 8.1 on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. And if this video helped you and if you appreciate Pangu's work, just be sure to rate it up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section as well as share this video around. And once you've done that, visit bit.ly forward slash get free app life or just freeapplife.com inside of mobile Safari to earn paid apps and gift cards by downloading apps. So once you've tapped the download button, if you're on iOS 8, press the home button, open the app and download the temporary secure profile, which is strictly used for associating your device with its proper account in a more secure manner on the latest firmware. It's never even installed on your devices. It's immediately deleted once your account has either been created or reassociated. From there, again, simply download sponsored apps for points, refer friends for even more, and redeem said points for the aforementioned prizes. All right, that's almost it for this video, guys. One last thing, if you don't know what to do once you're jailbroken, I will have an annotation on the screen now if you're on the desktop version of YouTube that will actually contain a link to my top Cydia Tweaks video. From there, you can get an idea and you'll get started on building your jailbreak tweak list. And of course, this is a very exciting time in the world of jailbreaking. We now have a completely untethered and simplified jailbreak utility for all devices on the latest firmware. And of course, if you guys want to be updated more often, such as when I create new videos covering things like jailbreaking and even forthcoming Apple products like the Apple Watch, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.